to my channel. If you're new, hi, I'm Sabrina. Um, before we get started, make sure to subscribe and give a thumbs up. And yeah, so today I'm going to be doing a fall essentials, how I get ready for fall kind of video. And yeah, so if you want to know how I get ready for fall or what I think I need during the fall time, then just keep watching. Okay, so fall is my favorite time of the year and my favorite thing about fall is all the pumpkin fall scents. And so obviously candles and fall things are, fall things, fall candles are essential. So this this is the Nature's Wick natural candle with wooden wick. It has pumpkin nutmeg, bonfire nights, and vanilla dolce. It smells so good. And it has like the wooden wick so it smells like an, or smells, sounds like an actual fire and it's really good. Um, I have the luminescence pumpkin pie candle I don't know just pumpkin pumpkin scents pumpkin scented candles are yeah and then if you don't want your candles like I have a wax burner back here and wax burners are just like two bucks and I have like pumpkin spice pecan pumpkin cake and they smell really good and they just make the whole room smell like pumpkin in fall and it's just it's really nice um, another fall thing is like lotions and stuff, but I'm not a huge fan of lo pumpkin scented lotions, but I do really like, um, this one from Bath and Body Works, this marshmallow pumpkin latte, and it's just the hand cream, um, so it's like a subtle fall scent on yourself, but like not overpowering, and yeah. Um, another fall thing is fall foods, and... I eat so much pumpkin pie during this time, it's crazy, um, but there's also like pumpkin muffins, pumpkin bread, pumpkin cake, all sorts of things that you can make and everything, but um, I really like pumpkin coffee during this time, and I bought the Califia Cold Brew Pumpkin Spice Latte with almond milk, and this with just a little bit of coffee, just because it's like really taste too much like coffee um a little bit of coffee is really really good and um it's dairy free so yeah and this is just a cheaper option than going to starbucks and getting a pumpkin spice latte all the time although i do recommend the pumpkin spice latte blended like in a frappuccino with soy milk and heaven it's so good um but i'm not trying to spend five bucks on coffee every day so a must. Another essential would be fall decoration and just some putting small bits of orange and like reds and stuff around your room or your house or apartment just really makes it feel cozy and warm and browns, browns too. Um, I have just a bunch of like little fall leaves and my cat is using the bathroom right now. Um, yeah, fall decoration. I have these like candy corn lights on my mirror. Another thing that's great about fall is the fashion and just getting to wear all the fall colors in warmer clothes, even though it's still a thousand degrees here in California. Um, but burnt orange things, just all sorts of things. Um, turtlenecks. I have this one with burnt orange and like black and white. And then this cardigan, which is actually my favorite fall thing, and I got it from Urban Outfitters a couple years ago. Just like all those kinds of things are essential. I need them. Um, as for makeup for fall, I don't really use anything different, except I just did get um, this Dose of Colors lipstick in cork, which I'm actually wearing right now, and it's the perfect fall lip color. Um, it's just like a brownish brown it's brown that's basically what it is it's matte brown and it's really nice for fall and yeah the best part about fall is it being all cozy you get to get a cup of coffee um curl up the good book and so spooky books are a must and these two are Coraline by Neil Gaiman which is a classic um I've never read this before um, but I like the movie, and this is nothing like the movie, and I'm kind of, I kind of like the book a lot better, but, um, yeah, really good. It's also just a children's book, so it's not, like, a hard read. Um, another book that I just read, and I was, I actually really liked, um, is In a Dark, Dark Wood by Ruth Ware. It's a little different, because it's, like, British, and... They used British terms and things, but it was still really good and spooky. And 
this is just about um, a bachelorette party and there ends up being like a death and like all these spooky things and they're in the woods and it's just really good. Fall time is my favorite time for music just because it's an excuse to listen to all my slow songs that um, I feel like I can't really listen to at the other times. I don't know. It's just, ugh, I love fall music. I have a fall playlist called Autumn Mix on Spotify, but like um, 1975, The Neighborhood, and Sheeran. Um, I don't know. Keats and Henson, City and Color. The Head and the Heart, Arctic Monkeys, Cigarettes After Sex, Cigarettes After Sex during fall time is, yes. Um, Harry Styles, obviously. Um, yeah, just like a lot of like slower songs. This Twilight soundtrack is so good and underrated. It's just beautiful. It's a perfect fall playlist soundtrack. I don't know, but um, the Twilight soundtrack also really good. But I will link my playlist down below if you want to listen to it. I don't know. Um, another fall essential is some cozy, warm fall kind of shows. And my cat's eating now. That's fine. Um, just ignore her. Um, some of my favorite are Gilmore Girls, um, Over the Garden Wall, Disenchantment, Hilda, Spring the Teenage Witch. Um, you, you isn't really like a, it's just kind of creepy, but it's nice to watch, I guess. Um, yeah, those are some of my favorites. Um, I might make a list down below, just because I do have a list every fall of shows that I want to, like, make sure I watch because I need to be in the fall mood. Okay, and then I guess lastly would be fall Halloween movies, which is my favorite part of this whole thing. There's just so many I want to watch, and I also have a huge list of ones that I watch every year. And there's Hocus Pocus, um, the Halloween Town series, a must, obviously, um, the Twilight series, um, The Nightmare Before Christmas, Corpse Bride. I'm sure I feel like I'm forgetting something. Just all those movies I will also have in the list down below because they are amazing and they just really put you in the fall mood and um yeah oh Coraline Coraline a must obviously if I'm gonna read the book I need to watch the movie spookiest thing of all <laughs> my cat pumpkin look at her Okay, so that is it for my fall essentials, getting ready for fall, um, fall bucket list, I don't know, all things fall and autumn and yes, fall. Um, so thank you so much for watching, if you liked this video, if you watched any of these things, did any, got any of these things, read any of these things, let me know down below, but um, make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next video.